Bill, 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 bill. Yo, this is me, Tammy T. Grinding for your moment podcast, and we're reading 12 Months to One Millie by Ryan Dale Moran. Now, this book is a complete game changer. They have us reading it. This is the second time us reading it in the uh, morning meetup with David Shands. So, if Dave got us reading it twice, that means he knows some nuggets in this thing, some real gems. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to dive as deep as I can for my audience so y'all can see where my mind is after reading or while reading this book. I did the first, uh, the introduction and the preface, all of that. That's done. Now I'm going to dive into chapter one. I had to order the book, y'all, because usually I just go with Audible. I listen, I take notes in Audible on my index cards. But this book was so rich. And since Dave has us reading it twice, I was like, I'm going to buy the book. I don't buy a lot of books. I got a few books over here. I should, I'll talk about that later. Traction, I still have that book, too. I'm gonna, But that's later. That's later. But y'all just got to know, I am very impressed with this book. Uh, a lot of nuggets. Uh, I took a lot of notes. But I want y'all to feel what I'm feeling when I read. And so I'm going to pretty much just let y'all know, do a good summary of the book and pull out some of the gems that I thought were gems. And uh, y'all can just govern yourselves accordingly. Uh, this is Grinding for Your Moment, the podcast. Let's get into it. All right, let's dive into it, y'all. I got my notes because I, I can't, I never remember. So I put my notes up here. So if y'all see me look up, I'm looking at my notes because there's no way that I can remember all that he says. But I took out some key points. Uh, chapter one, Moran is basically setting the foundation for the, a million dollar business, right? He emphasizes that reaching the goal is possible by adopting a growth oriented mindset. Mindset is key, y'all. And if they don't teach us anything in the morning meetup, I remember that's how Brian used to talk about. I think Brian was a mindset coach because that's how important mindset is to running a successful business. We'll get more into that too. Focusing on creating a brand rather than just a product. He said it uh, plenty of times. It, it, it's, it's people. You want to you want to engage with as many people as possible. The product is gonna get it's gonna get you there. But you know what I'm saying. You gotta have the relationships and the people behind you when creating your brand, and uh, you gotta follow a structured plan. And that's what this book is giving us, y'all. A structured plan. And hey, they always say if you fan the plan, if you fail the plan, you plan to fail. You see what I'm saying? So that's true. The core idea is to generate 10000 per month with a few key products that serve, specific, that serve a specific audience. Woo! 10000 a month. Okay, we got to wrap our brains around 10000 per month with a few products. And I think he did say three products. So I'm, I always think a few, that's three. So that's 30 stacks a month. Do the math. 30 stacks a month will get you your milli. All right. So, ooh, ooh. Is that a hold on for each, though? For each. Okay. You got a 10000 at $30 a product. So, ooh, no. Nope. So, that's 90000 See, I'm doing the math right now. <laughs> Y'all doing the math. So, if you can make, you can make 90000 a month, you got a million dollar business, okay? All right, shift to a growth mindset. Move beyond just selling a product. Think about creating a brand that provides lasting value. You have to move beyond selling a product and think about creating a brand that provides lasting value. Now, that growth mindset is nothing to play with, y'all, because when you when you adapt a growth mindset, the sky is the limit, and you know it is. Just just from how you talk, how you move, how you act, how you walk, and how you interact with people. This is that it, it, it all shines through if you have a growth mindset. And it says, right, what I got for my growth mindset. Think about creating a brand that provides lasting value. That's what that's what uh, Moran said. All right. Um 
when I created, uh, when I came up with Butterific, my whole thing was I was ready to say we just we're more than cookies. We're not just cookies. Uh, I have customers who want to celebrate their wedding uh, with Butterific. I think I had somebody ask me because they have their wedding at Butterific, but they end up having it by the river. But it's all <laughs> it's all good. But it just it thrills me to know that when people think Butterific, they don't just think cookies. They think this is a great place. The environment is good. The service is great. The cookies is a strong plus because we're going to make sure we use quality ingredients in every cookie, but it's more than cookies. It's the relationships that I've built over the years, uh, just, just in general. On every job that I've been on in school, I've been pretty much the same every time, y'all, every time, okay? But it's... Creating a brand that provides lasting value. And that's when, because you know, it's going to grow. Your business is going to grow. Uh, money follows what, money follows movement. So if, you, if you're if you constantly working on it and consistency is the only cheat code. Ain't that right, Dang? Consistency is the only cheat code. So every day you change, you get the mindset, you in that growth mindset. You're not trying to do anything but grow. All right. I'm going to have to pull this down because I don't like looking up, y'all. And forgive me because I got to make sure I get, because I had to, this is better for me looking down because y'all, y'all see me, right? And then he gives you the business formula. It's uh, aim for a simple but impactful goal, generating 10000 a month by focusing on a few key products. That's the business formula. That's what I was talking about, man. That seems doable. Selling like 25 items at $30 a pop every day, though. <laughs> I think that I said every day. That's crazy. That's that crazy work. But that's where you got to be because, and he said it in the book, you just got to go all in, man. When you go all in, it's going to look like crazy work to everybody. And it's going to feel like crazy work to you. But you got to keep going, man. You got to keep going. All right. Now, the three stages of business growth. Select the right product. Start with a primary product that meets a need for a niche market. Then consider expanding to related items. So cookies is easy. You see what I'm saying? So I'm starting with cookies and I'm going to expand to doing cookie jars, cookie tins. Then I'm going to have aprons and chef hats and butterific spatulas and spoons and mixing bowls. You know, who wouldn't want a butterific set of mixing? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's, it's all about using what you got to get what you want. And right now I got some of the best cookies in the world. And so what I'm going to do is to expand that brand is I'm going to add on to that by offering other things that I feel that my target audience may want. Then launch effectively. Now, uh, Dave had uh, Words Taylor. And Words Taylor is the launch king. You see what I'm saying? And also, uh, what's her name? Audrey? Audrey? And I can't remember her name, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let y'all know about her, too. She's actually from Memphis. She talks about lunching, and she's really good, too. But use online platforms, social media, customer feedback to create awareness and drive initial sales. And that's what I'm about to do with this lunch of our um, Butterific Discovery Box, the BDB. <laughs> BDB, baby. The Butterific Discovery Box, what that's going to offer is I have six different butter cookies, right? I got your butter, butter pecan, lemon butter, strawberry butter, coconut butter, chocolate chip butter. You're going to get two of each of those in your discovery box. One for you and one for your loved one, one for you and one for your kids. I don't care how you share them. I just hope you share them and people love them and love them enough to go on our website and buy another BDB, Butterific Discovery Box. You know what I'm talking about? But I'm about to launch that uh, today. And so that's the thing with me because... Uh, what did words say? Words just said, and I was taking notes in the morning meetup. Words said, uh, 
lessen what is where is it lessen the time between the idea and the execution of the idea he said him and day be talking about the idea the next day they executing it they they applying what what they wanted to happen to make what they want to happen happen you see so that's what i feel like a lunch is but i don't want to go in it raggedy so because i already have cookies that's my product and everybody's looking for a Black Friday deal. So for Black Friday, you see what I'm saying? Small Biz Saturday. Also Cyber Sunday and Monday. Because they say Cyber Monday. But I do Cyber Sunday and Monday. And then I'm just going to roll out these uh, BDBs, these Butterific uh, Discovery Boxes for my audience to purchase, to, to buy. To make my Black Friday Black Friday. You know what I'm talking about? But... Y'all, the thing is, you got to have something to sell. You see what I'm saying? Once you get your product, and that's usually the hardest part to find out what you want to do, what you want to sell. It doesn't have to be a product. It can be a service. But whatever it is, you got to go all in with it. And you have to launch it. And I am lear I learned in the morning meetup uh, just the other day, Dave said, starting a business is not the same thing as launching a business. With a launch, you build anticipation. You see what I'm saying? And so, and here he said, you got to launch effectively if you want your brand to grow, if you want your business to be successful, all right? Scale strategically. After traction, which is a book we're going to read probably next, uh, focus on scaling by improving operations, enhancing marketing, and adding a line products by scaling and improving operations. So after you got your product out there, you know, you know what your product is. You know who your target audience is. You started targeting them. You've launched successfully and effectively. Now you have to improve your operations because what's going to happen is more people finna be ordering. So you're going to have to need systems in place to make sure you never drop the ball because you always want to over deliver and make sure your customer know that you're about them. You see, because customers don't care about your problems, your dog died. None of that. They want their cookies. They want their product. They want their service. That's it. That's it. And you got to make sure you're the one to deliver it in a timely manner. And, and like you said, like you said, you see what I'm saying? Enhancing marketing and adding a line product. And that's so that's what I was saying. Um, I'll go deeper, probably more on uh, buying ads. Uh, Gary V said it's really easy now to buy ads on places like Roku, Paramount. Peacock, Hulu, uh, they're giving small businesses a chance to dive in. So before the big businesses hop on, we need to hop on the small businesses because once they see us hopping, they're going to follow us. And then it's going to be too expensive because they're going to have the budget. And, you know, they're going to be like, well, this brand is paying. And we don't have that as a small business. So Gary V said tap into that. Uh, make sure you see uh, what Roku and Hulu and, and Peacock and all those uh, channels and uh, um, apps that, you know, on our TV are giving us so we could uh, scale our business and enhance our marketing. And when I'm saying I'm going to add a line products, it's going to be cookie based, something to do with baking cookies. You know what I'm I can, I'm, I want to sell cookie jars because, you know, that's butterific. You, so it's it's coming and and we just, we're more than cookies, y'all. We're more than cookies. We're going to have a butterific bake book where we baking and showing y'all our secrets to baking. You see? And make sure y'all check out the uh, butterific YouTube page. I'll be on there starting 2025. Me and my baby going to be making, whipping and whipping and work. Whipping and whipping their work in the kitchen for y'all, just so y'all can see. Now, and I jumped ahead, lifestyle alignment. Ensure the business supports a fulfilling life rather than consuming it. See, me and my baby, we like to bake. So we get and we like to bake together. So that's 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 a that's a plus for me. Cause I can get her on on YouTube and we can just bake away and talk about uh what it is to fold in your dough and to mix your dough, you know, what it is to bake a sugar cookie versus a butter cookie. These are things our customers may want to know and may be interested in, and we got to make sure that we let them know, all right? So you just got to make sure that it's, it's not going to consume your life, but it's going to add value to it because you don't want anything that you're going to get tired of real quick. So when they say go all in, you got to be all in, man. 
And to wrap it up, man, this chapter is basically about building, building a profitable business on a solid foundation with the right mindset, simplicity, and customer focused strategy. I, I definitely believe that the right mindset is going to take you where you need to go. You need a growth mindset, million dollar mindset. Y'all know what it is. We're about their money yards, 12 months to a million, baby. And simplicity. Keep it simple. K-I-S-S, keep it sweet and simple. That's my favorite because I keep everything sweet and simple at Butterific. My butter cookie recipe only has butter, flour, and sugar in it. That is as simple as you can get for me <laughs> for me in baking, you see? And a customer-focused strategy is not about you, all right? I have to tell a lot of business owners this. It's not about you. It's about your customer. I tell my people, my employees, my staff, my team this all the time. It's not about you. It's about the customer. So you make sure the customer's straight, you'll be straight. Because they're going to keep you straight because you are supplying a demand of theirs. You're meeting a need, all right? You're solving a problem. If you've had a bad day, come on down to Butterific for a bite of joy, a bite of love and happiness, Al Green, if you will. See, it's all of, I'm telling y'all, it's, 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 it's rules to this, and we're learning the rules. That's chapter one of 12 Months to a Million by Ryan Daniel Moran. I'm in the morning meetup. I'm dropping the affiliate link at the bottom so y'all can join us in reading this book. It's a cold stone burner, baby. Bill, 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 bill. Thank y'all so much for tuning in, man. My name is Tamika, a.k.a. Tammy T, B.K.A. Chanel. Y'all know what it is. We serving them well right here on YouTube for Grinding for My Moment, the podcast. Thank y'all for tuning in. This episode is brought to you by Butterific Bakery and Cafe, a local bakery in beautiful downtown Memphis, serving you up butter cookies among several other flavors that we find that you find that you'll enjoy. Peace and blessings, y'all. Bill, 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 bill. That's Butterific. Having trouble trying to figure out what you want to give your friends and family and loved ones for the holidays? Well, Think no more. All you have to do is be on the lookout for the launch of the BDB. You heard me. The Butterific Discovery Box. It's going to be two, three, four, not five, but six flavors. Two packs. That's a four dozen for only $29.99, y'all, right now. Y'all can just make, make it easy for everybody, including me. <laughs> Get y'all a butterific dis discovery box. Beep, deep, beep, baby. Y'all know what it is. Y'all make sure y'all be checking the website for more information about the butterific discovery box. But just know that we have butter, butter pecan, coconut butter, strawberry butter, lemon butter, and our newest chocolate chip butter just for y'all. Beep.